Okay, had a, had quite an evening. Found out late, uh, late this afternoon that uh, I hear the gay pride parade was canceled. No, first thing I heard was the Lieutenant Governor, Brenda Murphy, said no to attend the gay pride, the gay pride parade. I was surprised because her and her partner, they're gay, nothing wrong with that. So anyway, first gay couple, uh, Lieutenant Governor and her partner. Anyway, so did I say it right? Because I might be in trouble. Anyway, focus Charles. So uh, she said she wasn't going to attend because, what do you call it? The organizers wanted as Grand Marshal the Palestinian. I said, Palestinians? Why would the Palestinians be uh, be there as Grand Marshals? I don't get it. So this issue, I contacted a politician. I won't say who. Me and the individual went at it over, over the internet. And I said, are you people supporting Hamas? Anyway, and then what happened there, I forgot the date, October or something, when Hamas attacked Israel. I mean, I'll never forget. Young kid was hiding under, under a vehicle and a guy from Hamas, just in cold blood, just went and just took his rifle and boom, boom. I seen enough, I didn't want to see no more. And then they, they bought kids and old women and raped them and you know, I mean, uh, it wasn't good. So then you had the protest on the states and then the universities and then these Palestinians are wearing masks and I mean, I call them cowards. Uh, so when the synagogue, I'll say it right one of these days where the Jews hold their uh, service on West Morton Street when it was uh, sprayed. Uh, somebody attacked it with, with uh, can, can spray. Notice I don't edit these videos. I should. Anyway, everybody was united and say anti-Semitism. That's not going to be tolerated in this city. Blah, blah, blah. And then they went on and on. But now, uh, the city will support, will give the okay for Palestinians to walk the street and to celebrate the Palestinian, their fight against Israel. And, I mean, why are the gay community involved in this? That's the part I don't understand. Uh, queers for Palestine, a free Palestine. Well, if you're queer, and you want to go to Palestine and you're openly gay in Palestine, how long will that last? I'm not even going to answer that. But why are they getting political? That's what I want to know. I mean, we know it's not the same like it used to be. I'll shut up for a minute. It's not like it used to be. Uh, gay means happy. Everybody's happy. And I remember Toronto, it was thousands and thousands of people celebrating being gay. Now, with 713 and everything, it's all hate. They're all full of hate, hate. And I've never seen anything like that in my life. I mean, it's, it's sort of like a yick. So, I mean, they're going to find out the next provincial election. That's what's going to get Hayes re-elected. Be, you know, focus, Charles. But to have the city of Fredericton to support the Palestinians and to give them the okay to have a parade and for them to be Grand Marshal, uh, I remember when the Palestinians were protesting and there was five women, Jewish, uh, from the Jewish community, had the uh, Israel flag and I was right in the middle of it and I had some Palestinian with masks on look at me you don't have my permission to film and the cop did tell him he's all gonna be complaint to the police the police told him you're in Canada you he could film anything he wants and 
they followed me home. It was scary. So I think it's a big faux, uh, faux pas to let the Palestinian having them as grand marshal in the city of Fredericton. And this is, this is when uh, the city of Fredericton is a big huge step backward. And I can't wait to tackle these politicians and ask them why they support Hamas. Because that's the way, that's the way I see it. Not good.